Well, the landing was very spectacular. I mean, coming down, uh, riding through the plasma, I saw all the colorful light outside of the capsule and then the cheese build up. So up to four Gs and then the cheese came down again and the parachutes came out and it was a lot of like spinning around. Um, in the beginning, I was a bit like, that was the moment I was most concerned about. How would I react to all this spinning when the parachutes come out? Would I be uh, seasick or motion sick and would I be throwing up afterwards? But I was very happy that when we um, splashed down in the sea that everything was fine and I felt good and there was a lot of euphoria. We made it. Gravity feels heavy. Um, I mean, there are advantages of gravity. For example, my food stays on my plate and uh, I can have salad next to meat and so it looks nicer than all this mixed stuff that we have in space. But I feel gravity, my head is heavy, I feel it on the neck. Um, also when walking, um, I, I need to get used to gravity again. I think at the moment I'm looking forward to meeting my family, my friends, enjoying nature. It's just a beautiful time currently in Germany. The sun is out and I can smell nature. Up in space, my nose was always congested due to the fluid shift. So like being able to smell again and to, uh, to experience the richness and the, the flavor of planet Earth is just like the best I'm looking forward to. I believe during Expedition 66 we took more than 120,000 photos. So and if I think back on my holiday photos, uh, it's not the same amount, but it always takes a lot of time until I go back and look through them. So at the moment I am not planning to look, look immediately um, my photos. I think it will take a while, but definitely there will be a best of selection when I have the time for it. Yes, I mean, flying to space, I believe, changes everyone. You arrive in space, you look down to planet Earth, and you feel like, wow, I'm, now I've reached my dream. Now I'm in space. I'm far away from all the problems down on planet Earth. But at the same time, you see. You see with your eyes and you feel with your heart what you learned as an engineer as cold numbers. Planet is changing. The climate is getting warmer. All this is visible from space. And and so immediately, once you're up there, you feel this burden that you carry with you. It's like you're an ambassador. You need to tell the people. You need to remind people we are one planet. We are one team. It's one spaceship. We need to work together. Otherwise, uh, we cannot face the challenges of our planet Earth. Definitely. I think um, the res responsibility for like seeing or living all this experience from space it definitely changes the character um, and it also i have an urge in myself to communicate about this one and just remind people just let's focus on the most important things uh, on li in life and uh, let's get a little bit further away from the small tiny problems that we have in our daily life I think every day was a highlight and uh, just the, the rocket ride to space, um, arriving up there, just experiencing this fabulous station in three dimensions, cupola looking down at planet Earth, I think that was the, the highlight of every day, and then the spacewalk. Spacewalk was just like incredible, it's um, like entering a new world. Um, I mean, on one side you're already in space, you're, in, you're floating, but then dressing up in this heavy, heavy spacesuit, opening the door and just stepping outside and just wow, fabulous. Um, and the ride back to our planet Earth. So everything, everything was fabulous. Yes, I think next time I would prepare myself better for what I see from space. So I arrived up there and I think I know our planet Earth. I like to travel and we had uh, Google Earth and our maps up there. So, but I think I want to study better our planet Earth to become better prepared to see, um, to understand what I see on our planet Earth. So at the moment I thought I look down and I will understand immediately, but definitely I need to talk to our specialist for Earth observation, our satellite spe uh, specialist 
to get a better training, to understand more um, how to read our planet Earth from space. So science is the main focus of our space flight. Flying to space is not to enjoy the beautiful view down to planet Earth. I think the satellites do a better job than us. But uh, performing science in space, it's a unique platform, unique chance that we can run experiments for the benefit of humans down on planet Earth. And give such a huge spectrum from human physiology, biology, up all the way to uh, material sciences testing new technologies that we will need to fly further to space, like doing exploration, arriving on the surface of the moon, and later on paving the way for a flight to Mars. There's so much that we can learn, that we can only learn in space, and that will bring a lot of benefit for us even down here on the ground.